I'm going to resume. Okay, great. Okay, welcome everybody to our chair class. Um, so we're going to get started here. Uh, if you don't have already uh, a block or a book, we'll be using that during our class. Uh, a strap or a belt is fine. Uh, a blanket just for your own comfort, and um, if you have a pillow, uh, that would be for your own comfort if you want to put something under your feet. A blanket, if your chair is a little sharp edge, you can always sit on the blanket if you don't have a pad. And then, um, if not, not something you really need to have, but if you do, if you have a little ball, that would be great. So. We'll just get settled into our chair, and if you need to get those things, um, we'll be just a few minutes here of settling into our chair and just breathing and starting out our practice with our feet flat on the floor. If you want to sit back in your chair, just feeling the strength of the chair on your sit bone supporting your body. And then having your hands either on your thighs, facing down, facing up to receive, or just fold it gently in your lap. And you can close your eyes, or maybe just a soft gaze if you don't want to close your eyes, just looking at something in the room that you can focus on. And we're just going to start breathing and settling in. So just sit, notice how you feel. If there's any tension at all, just recognize that it's there. You may try to breathe into it, maybe move a little bit into that tension. Maybe your, your neck or your shoulders, maybe your thighs, your shins. Maybe you're just finding something that's a little tense right now. So just scan your body from the crown of your head all the way down to your toes. And as you're doing that, let's just start breathing in. First, let's get everything out, just open your mouth wide. And then just long, slow, deep exhale. And then just slowly breathing in through your nose. If that is comfortable for you. If it's not, you can always breathe through your mouth. And then gently exhaling out through your nose or through your mouth. Breathing in through your nose. Breathing out through your nose. Elongating your exhale. Maybe even making it a little bit longer than your inhale. slowing your thoughts down. You're not going to eliminate your thoughts, but just recognize them as they come in and then let them go. Just like leaves on a breeze. Feeling everything gently just melting away. Think about what you want to get out of your practice today. What your intention is. Thinking of a word or a mantra that maybe you can bring to maybe even calm yourself more. If you're in a pose that is extremely difficult, coming back to the breath or coming back to your intention is always helpful. And then if you feel anything during the practice today that is tingling, numbing, sharp, 
or just does not feel right to you, just remember that you don't have to do the pose. Or if you're in too deep, just back off a little bit, coming out of it until you feel comfortable. Gently breathing in, breathing out. Settling in. On your next exhale, bringing your right hand forward like you're reaching out for something, spreading your fingers wide, Having a slight bend in your elbow. Don't hyperextend. There's no need for tension in your arm. Just relaxing at the elbow. Maybe even lowering it down below your shoulder. Then bringing your index finger and your thumb from your left hand and coming to your pinky finger and just gently pressing back towards you. On your next exhale, releasing and coming to your ring finger and gently press back. On your next exhale, coming to your middle finger, gently press back. Release and coming to your index finger, gently press back. And then taking the tops of your hand, laying your right hand on top of your left hand, coming up with your left thumb and index finger, and gently pulling that right thumb back. On your next exhale, releasing, and then just spinning your wrist around in a little circle. Maybe even feathering your fingers, and then reversing the circle. And then bringing your right hand with the fingers down. Again, don't Extend your elbow, just gentle bend in your elbow. Right fingers down, bringing your left hand around, cupping those right fingers and gently pressing on the wrist. On your next exhale, releasing the fingers, pointing the right fingers up, cupping with your left hand, your left fingers, and gently pressing back on that wrist. And then releasing, and again, spinning your wrist in a little circle, and opposite. And then when you're ready, extending your left hand, again, nice, slight bend in your arm, coming up with your right index finger and thumb on the pinky finger, and gently bending back. Releasing, coming to your ring finger, gently bend it back. Releasing, coming to your middle finger. Releasing, coming to your index finger. And then laying the tops of your hands right next to each other, reaching with your right index finger and right thumb on your left thumb. Gently bringing that left thumb back towards you. And then releasing, and then just putting your wrist in little circles. And rotate the circles the other way. Pointing the left fingers down towards the floor, coming around with your right hand, and then just gently coming back with that wrist. Releasing, pointing the fingers up on the left hand, bringing the right hand around, gently pressing back. Releasing the fingers, and then just doing little circles with your wrist, and then reverse the circle. Make your little crackles and crunches. That's quite normal. Just don't want to feel any pain. And coming forward on your chair, 
feet solid on the ground. You can keep your hands right on your thighs. And we're gonna be doing some big hip circles. So make sure you've got space between your hip to the, your back and the back of the chair. And we're gonna come forward and then rotate around, just warming up that lower back. Just going very, very slowly. Reverse the circle. And then coming back to center. Now you can stay right on the edge of your chair or if you're more comfortable sliding back. We're going to extend our arms out perpendicular to the floor. Or I'm sorry, not perpendicular horizontal to the floor. And then we're going to start with our fingers coming forward and we're going to have big rotation with our shoulders and our arms. Like we're bringing our palms forward. And we're going to slowly bring those arms tighter and tighter into the circle. And as you get tighter, I want you to Come in a little bit faster and faster until you've got little tight circles going pretty quickly here. And then reverse, going the other way. And we're going to open up and do the circles bigger, slower. Opening up your chest, squeezing your shoulder blades. And then when you're ready, just bringing your arms to your sides, maybe shaking out your hands, shaking out your arms, and then just doing some comfortable little shoulder rolls forward out with the arms and then shoulder rolls back. And then when you're ready, bringing your hands up, call this cactus arms. And what you're going to do is you're going to, if you're feeling like you're holding a ball between your shoulders and your This is more for the mid shoulder blade area. Opening up your heart, opening up your chest, making sure your neck and your head are all on the same plane. And remember your breath. Then on the next exhale, releasing the arms down, maybe shaking out your hands. Let's do that one more time, coming up into your cactus arms. Maybe you can come a little bit deeper, maybe not. Just be very mindful of where you are. Long, slow breaths. On the next exhale, releasing your arms down at your sides, shaking your hands out. Next inhale, bringing your hands up, palms facing up, elbows close to your body, squeezing the lower part of your shoulder blades together. Again, feeling like you can hold a ball between your shoulders. Squeezing, squeezing. On the next exhale, releasing down, shaking out your hands, your arms. And one more time, nice deep inhale, palms up, elbows back. And 
exhale, release, shaking out. And then taking your right hand, the back of your hand is towards your back, your palm is going out, you're coming behind your back, and you're just moving your hand back and forth, your whole arm, like it's on a hinge at your shoulder. This gives you some movement with your shoulder, just getting all the different areas of your shoulder lubricated and warm. Then extending your arm down, shaking it out. Next exhale, bring your left arm behind you and then swinging back and forth with that hand and that full shoulder and your upper arm. It's on a little lever from your shoulder, which is okay. Next exhale, release it down, shaking everything out. And then we're going to interlace our fingers and opening up your palms away from you. You're going to be pressing away. And you're almost like you're pressing with your whole upper body, arching your back. And then slowly, as you inhale, Bringing your arms up over your head as far as you can. Bringing your forearms and your upper arms behind your ears, if that's possible, maybe not. And then on the next exhale, bringing your arms down, arching your back. And then inhale, bringing them up one more time. And then exhale, bringing them down. Releasing your palms. Maybe doing some circles with your wrists. Put on your fingers. Sometimes that can cut off the circulation in your fingers. You don't want to do that. And then having your hands on your thighs, we'll do some neck stretch here. First inhale, you're gonna take your right hand, bring it on the left side of your head. Now only bring your right ear down as far as is comfortable for you. You don't want to push it too far. So just until you start to feel something ear to your right shoulder. On your next exhale, releasing that hand down to your thigh, bringing the left hand up on the next inhale to the right side of your head, and then bringing that left ear gently, gently down to your left shoulder. On your next exhale, releasing your hand, bringing it back to your thigh. I'm going to do some circles with the neck. So just bring your chin to your chest. And then as you inhale, bringing that chin over and up to your right shoulder, gazing over your right shoulder. Exhaling. And then on your next inhale, bring it all the way across like looking over your left shoulder. And then inhale, looking over to your right. Exhale, looking over to your left. Inhale, looking over to your right. And then exhale, bringing your chin to your chest to the center, and then raising your chin up so it's parallel to the floor. Now I'm going to do a chair twist. We're going to stay with our feet on the floor and you may have to come a little bit forward. Just find the right um, 
posture for you, bringing your left hand onto your right thigh. And we're gonna bring this right arm around the back of the chair. Your hips are still going forward and just gazing over to the right. Now, if you wanna intensify the twist, you just continue gazing over your right shoulder. Remember to breathe. Gentle, slow, inhale, exhale. On your next exhale, releasing that right arm, coming back to center, centering yourself for just one breath. And then taking your right hand on your left thigh and bringing that left arm around the back of the chair and gazing over to your left. Again, if you want a little bit more intense stretch, just continue your gaze over your left shoulder. On your next exhale, coming back to center, centering yourself. And then next, what we're gonna do is a little tricep stretch. You're gonna pat yourself with your right hand on your right shoulder, bringing your elbow up as far as you can, close to your ear. And then if you need to, with your left hand, just gently, gently press a little bit on that arm, just below your elbow. Really working on our shoulders today and our triceps with this. On your next exhale, releasing your arm down and then bringing that right arm across your body and then hooking it with your left arm on the inner elbow there and then just pulling that right arm as much as comfortable, getting another different shoulder stretch. On your next exhale, releasing your arms, coming with your left arm, patting yourself on the left shoulder or your back. And then with your right hand, just gently pressing on that left arm. It might be a little bit different on one side and the other. This is the case with anything throughout your body. One side may be a little bit tighter. I find this left shoulder is very tight, so I cannot get my arm behind my ear. And that's quite normal. On your next exhale, just releasing that arm down and then bringing your left arm across your body, hooking it with your right, and then just a nice little stretch across your body with your left hand. Extend it out. Next, exhale, releasing the arms. I'm doing some shoulder rolls here. We've really been working those shoulders. Now, in our yoga poses, the chair pose, which we're in our chair, but chair is normally done when you're not on a chair, but you're coming forward off the chair. So, have a couple of options for you. You can stay right here with your feet on the ground and your sit bones right on the chair. And you can take a nice deep breath and have your hands coming up over your head, looking up at your thumbs. If 
this is too much for you, you can even come into prayer with your hands folded in front of your heart. And if you feel real strong today, you can lift up off the chair. Probably have maybe a little space between your knees. If you're really feeling strong, then bringing your hands up over your head. Gaze is slightly up. Remember to breathe. This is a great core exercise. Belly button to the back of your spine. And when you're ready, on your next exhale, coming back down to the chair, sitting down, centering yourself. And then one more time, your choice, whether you're sitting in the chair or actually coming up off the chair. Breathing, focusing on one point, it's called your tristy. Then on the next exhale, coming back down to the chair or just relaxing your arms if you were sitting in the chair. Next, what we're going to do is we're coming into our warrior one pose. You're going to have, I'm, I'm turning to my right. You may, it may be flipped around in the, in the uh, camera, but um, you want to have one cheek off the chair, one cheek on, and my right thigh right now is on the chair, and then moving my left leg back. If you're seated, just coming up on the ball of your foot, your hips are pointed straight ahead, and your arms are overhead. Now, if you feel real strong, you can come up off the chair. Your front knee should be bending a little bit towards your pinky toe on your right foot, and your back foot at a 45 degree angle flat on the floor. On your next exhale, coming back down to the chair or just bringing that left foot forward and then coming back to center and then we're going to go to the other side. So left thigh, left cheek is on the chair, right thigh, right cheek is off, pushing your right foot back behind you if you're seated up on the ball of your foot and then Arms overhead. If you're standing, right foot at a 45 degree angle, flat on the floor, left knee rotated out towards your left pinky toe. And when you're ready on your next exhale, coming back down if you were standing, and then coming back to center, centering yourself. Just taking a few breaths here. And then we're ready to do some more of our warrior series. Standing up, um, you can be behind your chair, but I'm gonna come to the back of the chair and sideways so you can see. You can hold on to the chair. And we're gonna start uh, starting with our downward dog. Standing downward dog, your hands are on the back of the chair. You're scooting your feet out. Oh, I'm just carrying off. Okay, so you're just Releasing down, hinging at the waist. Your head is going to be below your arms. Feet are about a hip width apart. Big 
if you want to come down a little bit lower, your hands can come to the seat of the chair. If you have a bar on the back of the chair, I don't have a bar, but you could grab that or even the legs of the chair. And then on your next inhale, coming up, hands on the back of the chair, taking your right foot forward and coming is parallel to the seat, the back seat of the chair, the front leg or the right leg. You have a nice little lunge. Now you're staying right like this. If you feel real strong, you can put your right hand forward, left hand back forward to On your next exhale, bringing your arm down to the back of the chair or to your thigh, we're coming into side angle, bringing that left arm up over our head, extending those fingers, nice line from the tip of your fingers to the heel of your back foot, or you can come down to your thigh, I know you're looking at my back here. On your next exhale, coming all the way back with that left hand on your left or back foot, and then coming up with your right hand up over your head into sun warrior. Then straightening that front leg or that right leg. Coming back a little bit further. And then reaching out with your right hand. Now you can just come right to the chair. This is triangle pose. Right leg is straight. Or you can come down to the seat of the chair. You might have to come out a little bit more if you want to come all the way down to your shin or even a block. And then raising that left arm straight up. On your next exhale, releasing out, coming out of the pose, and then coming back into your down dog on your chair. On your next inhale, step forward with your left foot, stepping back, parallel to the back of the chair, coming into warrior two, bringing the right hand back, left hand forward. Hips are centered under your shoulders, arms extended out, knees bending out towards your pinky toe. Next inhale, bringing your left forearm either down to the chair or down to your thigh, coming into side angle. Extending those right, that right hand up. On the next exhale, bringing that right hand back down your right leg and then bringing the left hand up. And then straightening that left leg, coming back a little bit further. Again, you can always be hanging on to your chair. You don't have to be away from the chair. And then reaching forward with your left hand, either coming to the chair or to the seat or to your channel or block. I'll come right here to the top of the chair and then extending that right hand up. We 
be soft in your knees. Don't hyperextend or put too much into your legs. Be soft and gentle. On your next exhale, coming out. You might want to come into down dog just for a few breaths. Just hang your head down. When you're ready, coming back up to your chair. We're coming to the right side of the chair. We're going to be doing some of our balancing poses. Now, for one of them, you might want to get ready with your strap. We're going to be doing dancer pose at the very last of this. But right now, we're going to start with tree pose. Your left leg or your left foot is going to be the one that you are standing on. Your right leg, you can come up, I'll give you some options, either a little tripod with your foot, your heel up against the ankle of your left foot. You can come up to your calf. Don't put your foot on your knee, that puts too much pressure on your knee. Or you can come up to your thigh, or you can do a lotus across. So I'm gonna let you pick what you are comfortable with. We'll start taking a nice breath. Now you can just keep your hand right on the chair. Nice deep breath in. Feeling all four corners of your left foot on the floor. And then if you're strong, you can bring your right hand up over your head. If you feel real good today, you can bring your left hand up. Making sure you're staring ahead at your dristy area that is not moving. And on the next exhale, bringing your hands down, your foot down, twirling that left leg around. Coming back to center, grounding that left foot, that left leg, and then just bringing your right knee as close in as you can, flexing that right foot. You can stay right here, or you can move the foot out and opening up your hip. And hold on to the chair by bringing your right hand up. If you feel real strong, you can come up to the, which don't watch me, bring your left hand up. Remember to breathe. Going tall through your crown of your head, your stomach, your core, everything knitted together. Now on the next exhale, bringing hands down, foot down, rotating that left leg. Our last balancing pose on the right is going to be dancer's pose. You can take your strap or if you can, you can just bring your hand to either the outside or the inside of your right foot. With your strap, you don't even have to have a loop on the end. You can just wrap it around that ankle. And then holding with your right hand, just kicking out. Continue holding on to the chair. Slight bend in your right knee. And if you're real strong, bringing that left hand off the chair. Long, slow, deep breaths. Looking at your spot, not at me. And then slowly on the next exhale, bringing that leg down, spinning that left leg out, looking it out. Now 
then coming over to the other side, we don't want to neglect the other side. Standing on your right foot this time, hanging on to the chair, coming into your tree pose, and try to duplicate what you did on the other side. So if you did your kickstand, your shin, your thigh, or your lotus, try to duplicate that on this side. You may find this side a little easier or maybe harder. So once you've found what you want to do, take a long, slow, deep inhale. You want to lift your left arm up. Feel strong. Right arm. Feeling everything knitted together. Your core. Slight bend in your right knee. And remember to breathe. On your next exhale, bringing both hands down, bringing your left foot down, spinning out that right. Getting ready for our knee to chest pose, bringing the left leg up, flexing that left foot. And you can stay right here, or you can open this up, holding on. Or letting go. Long, slow breaths. So you can bring your left hand up. On your next exhale, bringing both hands down, left foot down, spinning the right. And then coming into dancers on the left, putting that strap or grabbing with your hand, your left hand, feeling all four corners of your right foot, slight bend in the knee, and then kicking out with your left leg, bringing your chest forward, your heart forward. And if you'd like your right hand forward. Shaking is good. And on the next exhale, bringing your hand down to the chair, undoing your foot, rotating that out. Back, coming back into our seat. And then just centering yourself, just taking some breaths. We're doing another twist. I'm going to turn to the right, all the way over to the right. Taking your right arm around the back of the chair and then extending your left hand around your back. Maybe in like a little bind where you're grabbing the chair with your left hand. And looking over your left shoulder. And then as you inhale, Moving your head all the way over to your right shoulder. Nice long exhale. And then inhale, looking over to your left shoulder. Exhale. And then inhale, looking over to your right. Exhale, and then inhale, looking over your left. And then when you're ready, just releasing from the chair, turning around to the other side, taking your left hand around the back of the chair and bringing your right arm around behind you and grabbing the back of the chair, if that's possible. Or just leave your hand on your back 
or maybe even just down at your side, whatever you feel comfortable with. And then taking an inhale, looking over your left shoulder. Exhale. Inhale, looking over your right. And exhale. Inhale, looking over your left. Exhale. Inhale, looking over your right. And coming back to center. Now, this may be where you need your block or your book. Coming into pigeon. Now, pigeon, you might want to sit on the edge of the chair to make sure that your feet are right on the ground or if you have your pillow or your bolster. Now, you can cross your ankles and then maybe gently press, cross your right foot over your left ankle and then just gently press, and that can be a hip opener for you. If you want something a little bit more intense, bringing your right foot up onto your left thigh or left knee. This can be your pigeon. If you would like to have even more intensity, put your left foot on a block, bringing that right foot up onto your left thigh. Various pigeons, whatever works for you. I'll give you just a few seconds to figure out what you would like to do. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna grab the back of the chair and you can stay right like this. If you want to take it a little bit deeper, you just hinge at the waist, coming forward. Deep hip open. Be very, very mindful. Don't do anything that's pinching, poking, numbing, or tingling. Remember to breathe. On your next exhale, releasing the back of the chair, maybe assisting your right foot down to the floor, and then just wiggling everything out, rotating that hip, rotating that leg, and then coming to the other side, putting the right foot on the block or doing your crossing of your ankle and your left foot over the top of your right be on the floor and come up to your right thigh or right foot on the block and bringing that left foot up onto the thigh grabbing the back of the chair making sure you're real sturdy on your chair and if you want coming forward hinging at the waist This one, my hip is not quite as open as my right, so I'm not coming down quite as much, which is quite normal for people. On your next exhale, releasing back. Bringing that left foot down, and then wiggling that out a little bit. Now continuing with keeping your feet flat on the floor, coming into an extended forward fold, we'll do a right leg and then the left. So you're keeping your left foot flat on the floor, knee is bent on the left leg, extending your right foot out straight, Straightening that right leg and flexing your toes back towards you. Now you can stay right here sitting up. If you want to walk down and maybe hold your shin, maybe you can hold your foot, or maybe you can come all the way down to the floor. Just giving you again options. Finding your pose. 
take a long, slow, deep breath in. And on the exhale, just melting into that pose. Holding for just a few breaths. On the next exhale, slowly walking your hands up. And then bending your right leg, centering yourself. This time extending the left leg, flexing the left toes, keeping that right foot bent, foot flat, right foot flat on the floor. And then coming into your forward fold, Give you a breath to find what you want to do. Your pose. And then take a nice deep breath in. And on the exhale, melting into the pose. Just relaxing everything. Relaxing your shoulders, relaxing your jaw. On your next exhale, slowly walking your hands up, bringing that left foot in. What we'll do is still staying on the edge of the chair. Just going to give your legs a little opening here. Just extend your right leg out, flexing and pointing your right foot. You serve on your ankles, just like what we did with your wrists at the beginning of the class. Then reverse the circle. And then opening up wide, and just making a big circle with your leg. Now you might want to hang on to the chair, give yourself more support. Big circle, as big as you can do with your hip. Bring it back around, small little circles with your foot. And then on your next exhale, bringing that foot down to the floor, and then extending your left foot and pointing and flexing. And then rotating your ankle. And then reverse it. And then rotate your leg in big circles. And then reverse in the circle. And then bringing that foot down, all the way down to the floor. And then our last pose before our final shavasana, you may want to use your book or your block. Coming into, oh, that's our door. And if somebody could get the door. <laughs> Okay, we're going to put our feet together in our cobbler's pose, the soles of your feet together. Your legs are out wide. And you can just stay right here in the cobbler's pose. Or if you want to come down a little bit further, you can come down to your shins and bending forward pressing on your inner thighs with your elbows. Or again, you can just stay right here. Taking long, slow, deep breaths in. Sit 
centering yourself. And then closing your knees up together, bringing your feet down to the floor. And coming into our final Shavasana. Coming, sitting back into your chair, just feeling the strength of the chair, the support of the floor through the chair. You can have your hands on your thighs with them pointed down or maybe up or just gently crossed on your lap. And we'll take a few breaths together, breathing in through the nose. Long, slow, deep inhale. Pausing. Opening your mouth and letting everything go with your exhale. Taking another deep breath in. Opening your mouth wide and letting everything go. Another deep breath in. Opening your mouth wide, letting everything go. And gently close your eyes, or maybe just having soft focus. Just relaxing your head, your neck, your shoulders, your chest, your heart, your lungs, your stomach your thighs, your knees, your shins, your ankles and your toes. You can stay just a few minutes longer, even after we end the class, and just enjoy the space that you've created for yourself. But before we say goodbye, we will say our namaste. I honor the place in you where the universe resides. I honor the place in you of love, of light, of peace, of truth. I honor the place in you where you are in that place, and I am in that place too. We are one. And together we say, Namaste. Thank you so much for joining us in our chair class today. And I hope you enjoy. Thank you, Anne. Thank you, Magali. And Thank we'll Monday. <laughs> next week, hopefully. Hopefully, yes. Bye. Yeah. Bye-bye. Take care.